picture on my mirror I Start to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter when I speak I Try to stand, but my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window Show a star for a sign guys welcome back to another living alone diaries how's everybody doing today is on saturday and i'm excited because we're starting a new vlog so i just came back from uganda <laughs> oh my god do you know how you watch other um, content creators and they're like oh my god so i just came back from paris i just came back from cancun and i've still not unpacked yet yeah i feel like one of those girls <laughs> Even though I had just gone to Uganda. But yeah, but then speaking of Uganda, if you've still not watched that vlog, kindly pause this one. Go and watch that one and kindly watch one ad or two. Because that Uganda vlog was late, honestly. At least for me. I feel like it was late and I did the best that I could. I even vlogged Nikiwa Juya Boda Boda, guys. That is dedication. And I know you're sitting there and you're wondering, hey, Uganda, what is fun in Uganda? Exactly. Go and watch that vlog. And then you come back and watch this one as well. And watch the ads. <laughs> So yeah, I just came back from Uganda, like I said, a few days ago. Um, yesterday, I just cleaned the whole house. It was so dusty. So my house is cleaned right now. Although I do have like a few utensils that I need to clean. And I also have some few clothes here and there that I want to wash. But uh, the purpose of me introducing this vlog today is the fact that I want to show you some of the things that I had thrifted before I went to Uganda. Like I said, Uganda was a bit expensive for me, for me. For me okay let me know if you guys would love to watch a video of me telling you about my first impression about uganda of course and like the things that i experienced let me know if you'd be interested in seeing such a video i'm asking you because there's no point of filming a video whereby no one will watch for example that uganda vlog i'm actually shocked it's really doing poorly but although i don't blame you guys because maybe i don't know maybe you don't like uh watching travel vlogs or i really don't even know why people are not watching that vlog because i honestly thought it was lit but yeah uh let me know if you guys would be interested in watching that and i'll film it for you so yeah um my train of thought what was i saying um i was saying the purpose of me introducing this vlog today because we don't have a lot of things that i am doing today is i want to show you things that i thrifted before i went to uganda so yeah let me set you up and then i show you the things that we thrifted also mm, so cute my outfit today is so so cute and i love it i think this is so much better but then guys do you know what the real mvp here is this week like the fact that it's still manageable after all it went through like i literally nearly panda boda so much the wind was blowing this week i even thought when i came back i would not wear it anymore and it's still manageable the fact that a comp can go through this is surprising honestly because i've never bought a wig that many kalisha evo by the way i am shocked at the quality of this week so shout out to the bitch that i bought it from <laughs> all right you guys so the first thing that i thrifted is this cropped top that i absolutely love it's from shane but of course it's thrifted and this is how it fits i love it so much it looks so so cute and honestly i can't wait to style it because bro can you see how cute this is so yeah that's the first item i wanted to do this haul differently from how i do my other hauls so yeah that's the first of let's 
me try the second one so that you can see oh the second top looks so so cute oh my god this is something i honestly see myself putting on when i'm going to the club i love it oh my god it looks so so cute and the boobies i'm sorry guys for the boobies <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah this is the second top it looks so so cute but they have removed my wig so i want to be showing you how my head looks like but yeah this is the second top can you tell me what you think about this top bro it's so cute i love it guys so this is the third item that i thrifted it's a dress and it's quite short but i love it i love the fit i love the print it's so so cute of course it's for going out uh to the club with some heels although knowing me and heels the way i hate being uncomfortable but I'll just, I'll figure it out. I'll figure how to style this dress. But um, yeah, it's so, so cute. Oh my God, I am obsessed. Oh, so cute, so cute, so cute. And yeah, that's the third item. And I love it. All right, you guys. So here is the kimono that I was, I wanted to show you. It looks so, so nice. It needs to be ironed though. Uh, this will really elevate your look honestly i just i feel like this is such a classy item i love it plus some sandals on a sunny sunday afternoon you know of course you can't go to church with such an outfit but like in the afternoon after church ah uh, but yeah so cute you can also like put a long dress a black long dress I have a vision for this kimono i have a vision <laughs> but yeah it's so cute oh my god it's so flowy the prints everything is just cute and i love it so yeah this is the other item that i wanted to show you all right so the last item that i want to show you are these white sandals that are so cute but i feel like i'm about to see everyone wearing this same uh sandals i don't know if you guys experience the same thing you'll see something and you're like oh this is unique the next time you go to town five six ten people are wearing the same thing and it annoys the hell out of me like this is one of the reasons why i love thrifting because with thrifting you'll never it's very rare for you to find someone who has a similar thing but is if it was in guinness a shop mm. but yeah they are so cute they're white in color and yeah guys the week is back the week is back uh before we wrap up today's vlog i kind of wanted to talk to you about something please don't complain that i talk too much listen it's my personality and i really love talking the reason why i'm saying that is because my ugandan friend was saying that kenyans talk too much <laughs> she literally said one thing about kenyans they can talk you know it's like yeah am i am i boring you am i boring is that what it is because <laughs> we talk too much but um by the way, do you know what? Um, yeah, I remember there was a time we were looking for a taxi and I think like the taxi guy and the lady were Kidogo. Guys, I have never seen so much politeness like that. Because if it was Kenya, we would be exchanging hands. We would be exchanging hands. Oh my God, that lady was so polite. And even the taxi driver, like you could tell they were arguing, but it was so polite. I was shocked y'all i was shocked that's also another thing about ugandans like they are really polite kenyans the complete complete opposite at uniambia to nongiana taxi driver at oh you know i'm mad you've done that mm? i'll just cancel and order another one and before i even cancel i will have given you a piece of my mind you know that's kenyan for you those are kenyans <laughs> for you honestly i don't even know where this story is going but the point is please don't complain that i talk too much because apparently that's our personality but yeah so i was scrolling through tiktok and i came across this particular tiktok i don't want to place it here because of copyright infringement you guys i have lost a whole channel because i used somebody's content so we're not going to do that but that lady she's kenyan of course and she was saying that she doesn't watch content creators who only show aesthetics in their vlogs and i'm like hold up 
hold up what do you mean what do you mean so she went ahead and said that she likes to see the struggle like show me the journey at most of kenyan content creators they only film like only the good stuff i'm assuming that's what she meant like when she said they don't post struggles so like when i'm posting it to only the good stuff when they are traveling like just having a nice house just shopping everyday groceries and i'm like do you know kenyans guys Am I am wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do know for a fact that if you don't post aesthetic vlogs, no one will watch. Name one content creator who posts realistic vlogs na anakuanga na a lot of views. I'll wait. I'll wait. That was so interesting to me because, you know, I've always known that Kenyans, in order for you to make it, you have to have a particular aesthetic. Of course, there are a few content creators here and there who have beaten the odds and they've they're really doing well for themselves even though they started from scratch but honestly that one will take you a lot of grinding at least that's what i think comment down below and tell me what you think guys do you like watching realistic vlogs and there's nothing wrong with that because me because i post realistic vlogs i i want to believe that i post the realistic vlogs but where are the views where are the views where are the views <laughs> see this is what i mean like i'm pretty sure if i had like a lot of aesthetics like if i was shopping each and every day i would have so many views i am so sure of that but yeah that was interesting guys that was interesting it's interesting to think that there are people who want to see realistic vlogs but i never thought about it that way me for me i've always known that people love watching aesthetics and honestly deep down i was telling myself i know i know this is why i don't get views it's because I don't have like a certain aesthetic and it's because I'm not there yet. So the goal is to grind, to fix a hapo, then we get a lot of views. But um, yeah, that was that was very interesting. How do I remember I commented and I was like, bro, wait. But you guys are the ones who like watching the aesthetics. Like people who post realistic vlogs and niwengi, by the way, niwengi sana. There are so many Kenyan content creators when you are posting realistic vlogs, but they don't get views. They don't get views and it's exhausting. So it's interesting to think that you guys like watching realistic vlogs and yet the people who post the vlogs don't get views so something is not adding up so yeah um <laughs> i know i've talked too much let me watch the utensils i think we're going to do that with you and then we'll continue the vlog tomorrow Guys, as you can see, my house is uh, super clean. I'm so happy that I decided to clean it yesterday. But now I want to clean this carpet. Um, this carpet looks nice, but it gets dirty quite quickly. I think I've said that I tried to salvage it, like just wipe it with some soap, and it clearly looks like it's dirty, so it needs to be washed. Am I looking forward to that? No, but I'm still going to do it. Later that same evening. It's all I got in the end. It's what I found out. And it ain't no need to cry. I took a vow that from now on, I'm gonna be my own best friend. I be myself. I know that I will never be my own best
next day. This day my friend brought me chicken from Galitos and in all honesty it wasn't the best chicken I have ever tasted. But I was looking forward to traveling to Embu later in the afternoon and that's what I did. my friend's house and today i'm on cooking duty and we're making chicken i've already boiled it um i want to fry it i've already added onions and oil to be honest i wasn't planning on vlogging and i don't even know what like how i decided to just cook to just film i mean but yeah here we are uh, i have a bit of a cold so that's why my voice is a bit heavy but yeah this is basically what i'm up to today so i'm thinking let's just cook together i've already uh, chopped my tomatoes so as you can clearly see i wasn't planning on vlogging this but here we are so yeah that's basically it let's cook and then i'll show you the final product so yeah just added tomatoes and some rico cubes. My friend doesn't have a lot of spices so I've just used that and yeah that's basically what is happening here. <laughs> like chicken is coming along very well but the fun fact I don't like tomatoes but I always cook with them. Um, if I had a blender I would squeeze them. I would crush them more. Uh, my friend doesn't have a blender. I also don't have a blender by there and I need to buy one for that specific purpose to blend the tomatoes because I don't like like you see how this has a crush you visually. I don't actually eat tomatoes by the way and I always cook my food with tomatoes which is weird but yeah so the chicken is coming along so now let's cook some ugali and yeah. My ugali is almost ready, although I need to spin it uh, a bit more. By the way, fun fact, South Africans call ugali pap. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen a couple of... Um, hey, ugali in Ongwa. I've seen a couple of vlogs where like uh, they were cooking pap <laughs> or ugali for us and was like bro that is ugali is that not ugali only for them uh it's i, I think they make theirs like a bit softer but 
yeah that's just a fun fact that i wanted to throw on there because by the way when i check my analytics i see like there are a few south africans who watch me so hi bestie if you're watching and then this is the maize meal that i use this is the best amaze is the best i think it's a bit pricier but good quality so yeah so guys, my food is done. Um, I know this looks like a weird combination, skuma and chicken and ugali, because we usually eat it with some cabbages. Now, I don't know what my friend was thinking, alinonua skuma, but it's food, so it's okay. I think I added a little more oil than I was supposed to, but it's fine. Uh, this is my meal. Let me devour and then we'll catch up later. The other day a friend of mine was house hunting and of course I offered to take her because I also have been thinking of moving so I just wanted to have a look at some of the houses she also wanted to look at. So this particular house that we saw was going for 18k. It's a one bedroom and it looked pretty decent. The only problem is that it was far from the road and we were looking for something closer to the road. So yeah, I guess the house hunting continues. When I'm with you, how can us lose and miss the moment? You just too important. Nobody do body like you do. I can't lose when I'm with you. I can just lose and miss the moment. You just too important. Nobody do body like you do. You do. In the top chat right with you, I feel like Scarface. That white bitch with the bob, I'll be your main one Let's take this argument back up to my place Sex with my girl, I'm not violent on you day one We had shit, yeah It was magic, yeah Smash and grab shit, yeah Nasty habits take a hold when you not here Ain't a home when you not <sighs> Hey, you guys so I want to finish up this vlog now and then I edit it and then I post it tomorrow, hopefully. And I'm eating these biscuits. I bought one that has lemon in it and the other one is just ginger. Oh, there you go, you can see it. But I want to try the lemon ones right now. So yeah, like I said, I want to finish up with this vlog today because... I just noticed that I'm not as consistent and I need to get back on my Zoom. Um, yeah. 
So anyway, before we do that, I wanted to update you that my Google AdSense. <laughs> so as I was saying, um, I wanted to update you that my Google AdSense pin arrived. Um, yeah, so for those who don't know, this is a pin that Google YouTube sends to your physical address, the one that you fill in once you are applying for monetization, so that they can verify that the address you gave them is correct. Honestly, I think that's basically the point of a pin. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong, though, but that's what I always think it is. Like, they just need to verify your physical address. So, yeah, they sent this, and basically what that means is that I am ready to get paid. Like, Nikifikisha, the $100 mark, they can, like, send me the money, and I'm excited. This this is what stops people from getting paid. Mine actually arrived quite fast. Um, You know what's funny? I actually got it last month, but I've been forgetting to update you guys. I've been forgetting. I don't know what came over me today. I was like, ooh... I know I do need to update those people of mine. But yeah, here we are. Thank you so much for always rocking with me. Thank you for always watching my content. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um and thank you for always watching the ads. Guys, I can I can I can see some change and I think you guys are really watching the ads. I also want to thank you for that. Yeah, that's basically it. Honestly, I just wanted to show you that the pin was here. And yeah.